loveys if you all would love to see how i created this custom built smart electric fireplace around wall up to this point inspired by my photo that i've attached stay tuned hello loveys and welcome back to ladija's creations and welcome back to part five of my custom built smart electric fireplace around wall as you all can see, I'm doing a dry fit of my brown hardwood board and I have partially cut out the area where the sound bar cable and the smart surge protector will be housed. That area will be 38 inches wide by six inches long. And love you, so a couple of days ago, my son had came over and he was getting ready to put up my TV mount for me. But when I added the two by fours up there, I used the wrong side screws, thinking that they were attached at the top. And I think I ended up using the wrong side screws because I'm working with the one by three boards and I'm using two different side screws, a short one and a longer one. When I'm working with the two by fours, I'm using the longer screw. When I'm working with the one by threes, I'm using the shorter screw. So I made a mistake and added the shorter screws on that two by four and that two by four at the top. And when he got ready to put the mount up, guess what? They went in. So I had to end up taking it down and reworking it. And what I noticed with that mount that he was getting ready to use, it had a piece that goes right there in the center. So I ended up adding that piece right there in the center. But I'm a little nervous about that piece right there because of the fact that I used the Craig jig and the wood split. And it split right there a little bit as well. You can see that the screw is in there and it feels like it's solidly up there, but I will probably end up making some type of brace to go on the back side of that just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere in the future. But how about when my son was over here a couple of days ago to put up the TV brace, him and my daughter, they were full of jokes. They were just laughing at my TV, talking about how heavy it was. My TV is like a couple of years old. And you know, nowadays, the TVs that they make, they're so light in weight. He joked about having put up a 70 pound TV, not 70 pounds, but 70 inch TV all by himself. And my TV is a 40, 40 or 42 inch, and it's really heavy. But loveys, let me tell you what my sweet daughter did. She went and purchased me a smart TV. And she asked me what size I wanted. I told her a 40, 42 inch, somewhere in there. And guess what she ended up getting? She ended up getting a 50 inch TV. And I'm grateful, but I really would have been satisfied with just a 40 or 42 inch TV. But like I said, I'm grateful, I'm thankful, and it's a blessing. And I thank God. And I thank my sweet daughter. And guess what? It's light and weight. So I'm going to have to have my son to come back over and mount the TV. So this is part five. And I'm not sure if this is going to be the finale because he won't be able to come back for a couple of days. So this may just be part five. And I will be bringing you guys the finale probably in another video. But like I said, I have to finish cutting out that area right there for the sound bar and the cable. And then I have to paint this. So I think before he actually comes back, I'm going to try and have this painted and assembled. Lovies, I'm also going to be placing two more two by fours up there for support as far as the hardwood board is concerned when I place it up top. Okay, ladies, I have finished my soundbar area. I cut it out and I used my jigsaw. It's not a perfect cut, but it will work. And right now what I'm doing is just sanding the rough edges down so that when I get ready to paint it, it won't look so bad. I ended up cutting some of the wood 
I'm no professional. This is my first time ever doing this, and I think it's turning out terrific. I haven't attached the board all the way, and that's why it sounds like it's a loose. Like I said, I'm just doing a dry fit right now. I'm going to have to take the whole thing back down, and I'm going to have to go ahead and, I caught myself building this area right here up, but I think I'm going to do it another way. If not, I'm just going to put the stuff back in there that I had placed in there. But as of right now, I'm planning to rebuild that. So I'm going to be taking this whole thing down. That's my plan. I'm definitely going to have to take it back down because I have not attach the inside of it. I'm just trying to even this out right here. And that won't be looking like that when after I paint it, so I'm going to paint that area over again. But that is it. And I have my tape down here on the floor as a guide for where my one by three and my two by four boards are located so that when I get ready to screw the hardwood board into them, I will know where they're located already. I still have to fix that area right there and build that up. I'm going to go ahead and start painting the fireplace wall. Okay, lovies, I'm getting ready to paint as much of that front panel that I can without having to take it down. The paint color is Orion Gray and it's from Home Depot. Okay guys, so like I said, I'm going to paint as much of this as I can while it's up. Lovies, this concludes this portion of this video. This is part five, and I will be bringing you guys the finale very soon. But lovies, it's time to go. I love you guys, and I want you all to know that I'm always praying for you. And you know what my main prayer is, is that if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior and your Lord, you will make him your personal Savior and your Lord today. And come on into the kingdom of God and begin to activate and demonstrate the kingdom of God that is within you. Luke chapter 17 verses 20 and 21.